<clears throat> okay, Jay and James, the yes. creators behind Simon and Milo, also known as Prozac. Huge, huge, holy crap, huge. Uh, among my group of friends when uh, I was a little bit younger, a little bit, not yeah, a ton. Yeah. I had a few friends that were absolutely obsessed, and I mean obsessed with Sucks to Be You. Like, to this day, you'll catch them singing it to each other constantly. Well, they sing it to you. Um, yeah. Often, uh, yeah. Uh, just so you guys know, we do things a little differently for interviews around here, so if uh, you could flip those over. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh. Yeah, we'll figure you can get one of those in there. I just started on the <laughs> landscape. I like it. Uh, so, what's uh, called yeah, smock talk? The, uh, the goal is just to color away. Uh, it, it takes your mind off of uh, the annoying stress that usually comes with most of the interviews. Oh, wow. When you get asked the same questions a thousand times, this makes it a little bit Love more of a chill. Freak you guys like out. analyzing this after and doing a psychological program? Uh, we've been holding on. I honestly just started this a couple, like maybe a week or two ago, uh, with Scott Hellman was the first who yeah. uh, oh, did a pretty fantastic with? dinosaur. Not bad. Ah. Hmm. Uh, and then the That's guys little, from... kind of expected. Neon Dreams were in the other day and did some nice uh, puppies some and kitties and pirates. Everyone's staying So you in the thought lines. we were worthy of just coloring a pre-traced paper? <laughs> Figure. But you could, it looks you could like have the foam shapes. The, the paint. Oh, no, no, no. There was, they were still the same thing. Same uh, markers. They're okay. just foam shapes. I grabbed I feel paint. a little better now. <laughs> um, the one that you're coloring, actually, uh, we have our own resident cartoon character named uh, DJ Little Fever. He's a guy who does our mix shows. Okay. And that is the logo that was created in-house by a guy named Dean Cole for him. Nice. And I just figured, you know, cartoon yeah. faces. Yeah. I have no idea what any of that meant. <laughs> I'm just, no, but it, it looks good. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's talk about the show tonight. Algonquin Comes Theater. I, I don't understand. How does this work with live shows for you guys? Because I've well, never had a chance to catch one. That's a good question. So the characters are the main thing, of course. What everyone needs to realize about Prozac is it's essentially a theater concept, right? Because we created these characters, Simon and Milo. So Simon and Milo actually aren't us. They are a British and um, Austrian, -ish. yeah, ambiguously Bavarian <laughs> person, um, and we're like the Wizard of Oz, Wizards of Oz. So and really, in the man. future, and anyone could be playing Simon and Milo. We just happen to be the original Simon and Milo. Do you have a plan to hand it off to somebody at some point? In yes, time? we actually tried once in San Antonio, Texas. We trained these guys to be Simon and Milo. This is not a joke. You had yeah. actual, like, apprentice. We did. And we, they, we had a... Apprentice. The first show was at SeaWorld, right? The biggest... Shamu was there. It's not even a joke. Um, is that not a joke? No, it's a real thing. But wow. it... Um, it's featured in the that. Blackfish documentary? It didn't... You know what? It didn't... Uh, <laughs> people didn't respond as much. So I think for now, I mean, we are... Well, it was a different time, though, because now it, 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 we seem to have tapped into this cosplay thing which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And so I think the theatrical interpretation of Simon and Milo and Prozac moving forward, you know, the Simon and Milo don't age, of course, um, that might it might be a little more conducive now. So what he's getting at is, come to the show dressed up if really you want clear. to. Oh. <laughs> Jay and I will be on stage performing. He's singing, I'm playing guitar, mm -hmm. doing a little Euro rap. But the, on the video screen, we got Simon and Milo, all the videos, and we've created, you know, some new video content for the show. Let me just clarify that Milo does the Euro rap. I do not Euro rap. You do oh, not that's Euro true. No, no, I only authentic I hood rap from <laughs> because the from streets Thornhill. raised me. The streets of Thornhill. <laughs> now, streets uh, of Thornhill. a lot of the inspiration behind uh, the songs, you, you had said in a lot of interviews that I've been reading uh, that uh, you draw a lot of parallels from your life into Simon's and kind of yes. map them in there. How does that, uh, how does that work? Well, any writer of any, in any form um, when they do their best stuff, it's probably speaking from a bit of an honest place, even if we're writing for a character. So the character development of Simon came from my life as a perpetual, very unhappy dater, successful dater, <laughs> unhappy result. I like to follow. It's a nice touch. Good uh, throwback into right. it there. Uh, where where the basis come from for Milo then? The dark recesses of my subconscious. Yeah, I think the main, well, Milo is, is kind of like a sidekick to Simon. We knew Simon's character was very, was very defined, and he needed, he needs a friend that's going to help him out of trouble, who's going to lift his spirits when he's heartbroken, who's going to uh, save him when he's getting chased by... See, and he's kind of the opposite, right? He underlines the, yeah. the sad, sort of hopeful and yet pathetic Simon. Classic good cop. By being the opposite. 
uh, when it comes to the the backstory. I mean, we're, we're talking hundreds of years of backstory. What, where did this come from? Like, what? Well, if you do a timeline yeah? between the the first cave paintings in France, um, or the oldest cave paintings known to modern man, they I mean, they may not be in France anymore. Yeah. But uh. Till now, and you like divide that into like years, as in like dog years or cat years, then Simon and Milo, if you follow that trajectory because they're drawn, their art are probably what 23, yeah, oops, 23, but uh, that's like 200 years, yeah. But the story is based in reality, does that make like, any sense? It's a little tripped up, but we, we just had a long There's drive, a good for that. <laughs> yeah. Jay was uh, sleeping <laughs> in the car, and uh, yeah. But um, no, it, it seems like there's reality. something a little deeper behind that there. Deeper, yeah, yeah. much deeper. Yeah, dig deep. Are you ready to dig? Oh, deep? I'm digging. I'm digging. Well, it's well, nothing that's illegal. Okay, no. but we did these start, days. It's, that's true. But we did start. <laughs> I love the, the look over country. every time. Are we okay with this? Are we all right? Yeah. <laughs> manager Ian is just listen. Any good manager supplies show. weed. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> Ian, you don't do that, though, do you? Never. Okay. I won't turn the camera that way, don't worry. I'm not going to get busted just yet. Um, so, tonight, you've already kind of talked about the show. What was the, the the thought process that brought you guys to a reunion tour concept? Like, you got back together and, and decided you were hitting the road again, uh, and, and and the Tinder side of things, just beautiful uh, when we rolled that out here. <laughs> right. um, what was the, the, the idea, the feel? Because obviously, it's a, it's a different place. You're writing from a different place. You're playing yeah. from a different place. Um, well, there was an article done on uh, in Vice magazine about crazy '90s and early 2000s musical phenomenon. We were featured in it, and then from there we got an offer to do a festival in Toronto called Atomic Lollipop, which was you know, really cosplay oriented. And when we showed up to that show, we were just shocked that people were dressed like us, and it sort of has moved into that space which is really it makes a lot of sense but we couldn't have predicted yeah. that and the characters kind of have lived on like we didn't i hadn't been thinking about it actually it wasn't in the front of my mind i was living in london for a few years jay was in new york la so we hadn't been working together in a while and and when we came together and did this thing it, i think it totally just it inspired us so we we're like it kicked our butts so we we're like oh wow simon and my i mean People Indeed. coming up to us saying, you know, we helped them through a rough time when they were 15, and they'll never forget that, and all that stuff. It means a lot. Yeah, it know? does mean a lot, does that. And what else do we do this for? I mean, it's not for the money, so we might as well do it for something, you know, moving, that you're touching some people. I we didn't fun. know. We actually do it for Oh, yeah, I do not do it for fun. <laughs> like, you touch some people. Wait, that doesn't sound good either. <laughs> That's true. Jay right. does it for touching. Okay, yeah. Well, it has to happen. I mean, <laughs> groupies are groupies. Rules are rules. Yeah. Um, okay. Money's not awful, though. It's not great, no. but it's not awful. No, money is uh, great. No, we yeah. need we we love money. is good. Uh, what are the future plans, then? If you, uh, you've you already tried training protégés and that unfortunately failed miserably. No, we're going to try that again, because okay. we've always had a dream of... Like, like open trials? No, like... Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we're talking to some uh, credible musical theater producers now about, about doing that. If that guy does his job over there... <laughs> if he doesn't, then like supplying weed or the other job. X now the Plex thing. <laughs> we, uh, then we'll and uh, the other thing is we always wanted to do a TV series. Like we started one with Disney years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but that you know Disney Prozac it wasn't really meant to be. They tried to make us something we were not, and so now I think the climate is perfect to kind of you know for what we're doing the kind of quirky, weird kind of thing that Simon and Milo are. Well, with what people are producing, I mean, we're, we're in an age where people are producing content constantly. Right. You've got videos all the time. Uh, is there any plans for a lot of short video rollouts or yeah, know, we'll do feature length? Traditional videos, and we're also, I mean, music videos, and we're also um, considering a TV show and things like that. I mean, we need to enlist a really clever screenplay yeah. writer to, to figure out what Simon Milo would be. You know, as a TV show, we have some ideas, but um, yeah, we'd love to partner with someone like that. We're talking to some people, and also the musical theater thing. Yeah. Why no neck? So the no neck thing is actually super practical. It was Simon's head was supposed to be bouncing to the beat all the time. 
Sort of like the follow the red bell. Yeah, so he's always bouncing on his shoulders, but that is, no one has ever been able to pull that off. So. You know, they did it with the bouncing ball. I wonder how, why couldn't we do well, that? Well, because there's no neck on the ball. Because right? we were communicating that idea yeah. to Korean animators Food. in Korea, <laughs> and they <laughs> thought that head meant ball. <laughs> Wait, it was done in Korea? It was all Korean animation? It was partnered with a uh, Toronto animation company, and uh, I think yeah. they farmed out the, each individual <laughs> drawing to 10-year-old <laughs> Korean children. So, uh, no. But they, it's they not were, very healthy. <laughs> they were hand-drawn, though. The original ones, it was cell animation. And now, for the new video, for Love Me Tinder, we work with one animator who's mm -hmm. doing it, you know, computer and CGI. So it's a different process these days, but... Uh, but it's still lots of fun. And the entire, the, the original designs, the very first original design, who did it? Scott Harder. We worked with an uh, illustrator named Scott Harder, who unfortunately passed away before the first album came out. So yeah, really he, tragic. He was like 28, yeah. and he designed everything, and it, he didn't get to see it like in the world. Yeah, so Sad. definitely uh, think of him when, when we see Simon Mile on the screen. Yeah, those original designs are brilliant. Those yeah. are his. Oh, they're, it's, I don't want to use the term iconic, but they're iconic. They are. I mean, it's, uh, if I saw those pictures anywhere, I could yeah. recognize Simon Milo any, yeah. day, any day of the week. I mean, we gave him such minimal <clears throat> instructions, right? Like, yep. sad eyes, no neck. No neck. Kind of eager with, like, a suit because he's got to be trying too hard. And Bigger. That's it. Buff he came up with the, with the design. <laughs> Bigger buff sidekick. <laughs> uh, two things. Uh, I've only really got two things left. And then you guys can do what you gotta do. I know you gotta get to a sound check. Uh, what is it that you want people to take home when they come to see you live? Because you know what they're saying. <laughs> 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 no, <'cause he's> right <laughs> on the tip of my tongue. I was just gonna say it. After teachers, teachers and posters. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, first of all, we, we were really proud of the new album, which yes. is coming out tomorrow. And um, you know, I, I want people to, to hear the new stuff and you know, hopefully find the same excitement is the old stuff that's all that would be the best thing okay is that both sides yeah <laughs> no, you always no, gotta ask right no I, we're both really excited about the album we're gonna be playing some of the new songs in fact we're gonna be we're trying to gauge what our next single should be so you know we're asking people at the shows to know, give us their opinions opinion. on which of the so new they ones can should be the which next is the one that you're gonna be playing next on okay this. all right um, you ever thought about doing it as a, like a poll? Because I know a lot of the, the latest Facebook poll trend with all the pick this emoji for that. Well, we want people to do it in the moment okay. of the show, like on the ground physically, which is... There's an element of nostalgia and kind of throwback to... <laughs> for a crowd thing. screaming? No, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's a it consumer... Is really the answers. album is Forever 1999. So Some people show up and rave gear, you know, like they were throwing some... Mod ropes. sticks and stuff. Yeah, mod ropes. Yeah, we just talked about, about that, that today. Did you know? Snog Industries, mod ropes. Yeah, man. No Giant. I, I had them, man. The orange flared out. Yeah. Mod ropes. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Uh, everybody wearing suitors? Or like uh, ring pops? I didn't yeah. see a lot of ring pops, but maybe we were like... It was like tonight. those glowy stick things. Yeah, glowy glow sticks. Yeah. 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 yeah, which is cool. Okay, and final one. Uh, completely non-music related at all. Um, because you get asked the same questions a billion times. Okay. Uh, if there is one food in the world uh, that you could eat forevermore with absolutely no repercussions, okay? No instant diabetes from it, no uh, cholesterol elevation, nothing. You're making those me lines. cry. <laughs> the idea. Oh what would it be? And it's only one oh, that's dish. Easy. You can't mix so it? Easy. No, no mix. Well, there's a dish that I love. It's fried chicken. <laughs> it's fried chicken and ice cream. And ice it's cream. A dish that I love. Together. Like, do you dip the chicken in the ice cream? The ice cream's on on the chicken really? or, or underneath. Where did you get that? I am just inspired. That's just how I roll. Ian, do you pro do you provide this kind of stuff? Yeah. I would have Because I'm pretty sure that would go hand in hand. If those are my ideas. Chicken so nachos, burnt from uh, El Compadre and. LA and Echo Park. Every, burnt? Yeah, burnt. Okay. Chicken nachos. <laughs> Boom. That's it. Every day, all the time. Chicken nachos. That's it. That's easy enough. Uh, parting pieces of advice for people that might be starting out in the ground. 
I thought you were going to say that might be stranded on an island <laughs> one day. <laughs> we could go that way, too. If you're stuck on okay. an island one day, what's the one thing that you should probably think of starting? Make a record. Okay, make, make a record. Show. That's it. <laughs> uh, give me two seconds here, guys. Sorry, just popping into traffic. <clears throat> You're missing a pretty sweet chat on Facebook Live with the guys from Prozac. If you want to jump on there right now, the Kiss 105.3 Facebook page has it all. Uh, this is your Kiss Time to Save for Traffic. What? I didn't really get Well, I was just... I didn't really... <laughs> I know, I was like, all I see is pink on the mustache. Uh-oh. Uh, Um, like ice, sort of like the, in that like clear package with like no the, the what are the red white and blue ice cream things? Neapolitan. It's not Neapolitan. Yeah. It's like in chocolate. Triple rockets. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like a no, the rocket popsicle. Just popped red, white, and blue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. popsicle. Yeah. 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 yeah, pretty sure it looks a lot like it. That's all. <laughs> Did you add cat ears to that? Yes, yeah, maybe. Okay, all right. I see. Yeah. I see. How can can I get you to sign both of them if you don't mind? Wow, I, this is real life. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Solid, straight up, nothing but pink on the mustache. Poor little fever. He's gonna cry himself to sleep now. <laughs> okay, I gotta turn off our Facebook Live videos. So if you guys want to wave, by all means. Oh, you want to hold up your artwork just so they can see? Boop. Boink. Not fair. Oh, not fair. Boink. I was doing an interview. Underachiever. <laughs> no one can truly multitask.